I, I just flew in today. I was supposed to arrive yesterday. It seems like everyone knows my travel arrangements. Um, and I didn't make it. There was flights cancelled, blah, blah. So um, I had the luxury of being picked up in, in um, Nice Airport by a helicopter and, 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 flo and flown right in. So, yeah, uh, the experience, it's, it's very in keeping with this side of the world, actually. Um, it's been fun just doing a bunch of press and everyone seems excited to have the show scene that was named TV moment of the year with the National Television Award. Oh, the one with Demel's dress when he takes the... <laughs> oh, when they go to bed together for the first... That scene, no, the siding oh, scene. The oh, the siding. It was just a normal scene for us. There's so much going on in that scene, you know, I mean... Uh, Elizabeth is riding up to tell Ross that she loves him, and Judd is telling me there's problems with the mind. Jim Carter, this guy I stand up for in court. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot going on there, and, and Ross is just scything away. For me, it was a regular scene. We didn't think it was going to be what it was. Um, I think it was my choice, actually, to take the top of my top off. <laughs> you got yourself into this. I think I got myself <laughs> semi-naked in that. No, people are really sweet. People are really nice. I, I have... Any fans that I meet are just, they're, they're top, you know, they're top drawer. Um, and, and they're lovely. And they do things like wait out in the rain for you and, and say sweet things. And no, they're, they're all lovely. I, I don't get sick of it, no. An experience kind of like no other. I mean, I knew it was going to be amazing. When you sign up for The Hobbit and you go over to make three movies and with Peter Jackson and with all these brilliant actors, you know it's going to be special and, and it wasn't um, disappointing. Feely. And Keely. But he's a great collaborator as well. After yeah. creating all of this and bringing all these people together, and he's a great delegator too. I mean, he gets the best people in the business together to, to make yeah. it all work for him. But he gives a lot to the, certainly to the performers, you know. On Pole Dark, we have less money. You know, you'll often pick up, um, if there's a breakable bottle, say, for a scene, we have to, say, smash it over somebody's head. Mm -hmm. You'll have a whisper in the ear going, we have only two of those left. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't exist on some of these bigger, bigger budgets. We, we, we pick up series two where one ends uh, in real time. He's at the side of the cliff. He's being arrested for, for murder and inciting a riot and smuggling and all sorts. Lost a child, Julia. His company has failed. They're broke. You kind of feel like it's as low as they can go. And there's some great actors in it. Um, great story. And we're just, yeah, just, we're going to love it. We're going to love it. <laughs>